Good morning. I hope that you and your family are doing well. Today is Erev Tisha B'Av. We're about to go into the saddest day on the Jewish calendar. It's a time to reflect on the difficulties of our history. It's a time to think back over tragedy, over loss. It is also a time to focus on hope. Most people don't know this about Tisha B'Av, but it's true. For example, the Talmud tells us that there was a particular non-Jewish farmer who lived in Israel at the time of the destruction. And a Jewish fellow happened to walk past. And as he walked past, the cow that belonged to this non-Jewish man made some kind of a sound. And the farmer turned to the Jewish fellow and he said, I can hear in the sound of this cow that your temple has been destroyed. And literally moments later, the cow made another sound. And he said, I now have the sense that your Messiah has been born. And that's the theme of Tisha B'Av. The theme of Tisha B'Av is that although Tisha B'Av is a day of destruction and mourning, it is also a day that is very deeply associated with Moshiach. We're told that Moshiach is born based on this story on Tisha B'Av. We don't say Tachanun, which is a prayer that we usually leave out on festive days. We don't say Tachanun on Tisha B'Av because we know that it is destined to become a festival. Tisha B'Av at the beginning has all kinds of restrictions. We have to sit on the floor, we don't greet each other. But at the end, in the afternoon of Tisha B'Av, we read a special paragraph called Nachem, which is a guarantee that Hashem will give us comfort and that Hashem will restore everything that we have lost over the course of history. So as we go into the holiday of Tisha B'Av, or into the fast day of Tisha B'Av, we really get to choose how we experience this day. We can only see in it the tragedy of our past, or what we should see in it is the promise of a better future. And not a future that is necessarily a long way off, but a future that could happen literally in the next moments. As the Midrash says, at a time where the Jewish people feel completely downtrodden and as if there is no hope, it's exactly at that time that out of the blue, Mashiach will come. Please God, let us hope and pray that this Tisha B'Av will not, not be like every other Tisha B'Av before it, just simply mourning what has happened in our history, but rather that it should be the dawn of a beautiful future with the coming of Moshiach. The time is right. May Hashem send him now. Have a wonderful day, an easy and meaningful fast. Please God, a fast that we don't have to complete. Stay safe and stay sane.